Okay. Here's our chicken in the bag. Let's take it out the bag. Let's take it on out. Mm-hmm. Huh? Um. That's it. Look at all that goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Uh-uh. Woo! Come on off of there. And then we just pull that paper right from under it. Hmm? There you have it. Mm. Look at that. All that good juice. Oh. Let me get some of this paper from over here. Lift the paper up from the bottom. Still got a little bit of paper there. Let's take that out. There we go. Mmm. Mm. Make sure we get it all from out of here. Let's see. Like that's there's a little more here. Make sure you get all your paper out. Ouch. That's really hot. That's really hot. I think. Let me make sure. I think we got it all. Yeah. Okay. And that's that good old chicken in the bag. In the bag, in the bag, in the bag, in the bag. In the bag. Oh, I meant. Pretty it up a little bit. Pretty that up a little bit. Yeah. There you have it. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Reverend Vera. Hi, Cousin Jax. Sorry, guys. Wait a minute. I got excited. Wait a minute. Don't go nowhere. Hold up. There we go. I got excited and dropped the phone. But anyway, that's what that looks like when it comes out the bag. Hi, Zarin. And you can, like, if you want to brown it more, you can put it back in and put your broiler on for a few minutes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the broiler on this for a few minutes. Because hmm, I like that. I prefer a little more browning. But I didn't want my potatoes to get too um, soft. Again, this is my first time doing this recipe from my aunt. But yeah. Hmm. Yes, yes. Right? That looks good. So I'm going to take and brown mine a little more. And I want to do one more thing too. I want to add some more of this really good juice to it. I can't get enough of these, y'all. Remember? The sweet cherry peppers. And, uh, these, it's just so good. That's, I'm tongue-tied, it's so good, look. Let's 
Put some more of that on there. Put some more of that in there. Reverend Vera, if you're in the area, come by tomorrow. Stop by. So I can let you have some of this so you can taste this, Reverend Vera. The rest of y'all too far away, but Reverend Vera is here in Harrisburg. I want to share this. I want you to see how good this is going to taste. I'm going to just taste a little bit now. I'm just going to go in here. I just want a little piece. Mm, let me see. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. I'm just going to take some of that right now. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to take a piece of chicken. Let me see. Let's see. It's nice and tender. You saw that, right? Mm, I'm going to have this piece. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, my God. It's good. Mm. Stop playing. That is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Hi, Albert. Fried chicken was two weeks ago. <laughs> Fried chicken was two weeks ago. Hi, Nanette. But this is um, sweet pepper chicken, and you cook it in a paper bag. Like, you can cook a lot of your, your, your meats in a paper bag, and it come out really good. But the hit to this one, like my aunt said, are the peppers. Now, I use roasted peppers in here, too, but there's nothing like this right here. Nothing like that juice from that pepper. And then I put some of the peppers in there. I left them whole. Mm-hmm. But for me, I'm going to put this in the broiler for a few. And just let it brown a little bit. Because it's tender. It's done. It's done. I just want a little crisp on this. And on the potatoes. I wouldn't mind a little crisp on the potatoes, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you don't want to leave it in too long when your potatoes don't have a good consistency. See, look, this is good. See that? That's good. I'm going to eat that too. Mmm. That's good. All right. Let me put some pepper on here. See that? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good, y'all. Mmm. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. That's good. Mm. So, the season is spot on. Let me see if I can turn this back to. Let me see if I can turn this where I can see y'all. Where you can see me. Let me see. Wait a minute. I'm trying to turn it back. Here it is. There you go. So, anyway, that's like really good. Oh, yeah, now watch that video and then share it, perhaps. Yeah, you cook it in there just like you do a turkey. Hey, Flo. There go my buddy Flo on here, y'all. Now, I gave y'all the information for the bonfire, so use it. I got some stuff upstairs I need to show y'all, too. I got a few things, but you got the links to the bonfire. And she's on here now. Lucretia Gross, that's who she is. One love. That's her, y'all. That's where them shirts come from. The Flow. Go to that cooking channel. The Flow. That's my mentor right there. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, but that's how you do that. But I need a little brown on mine. So, hold up while I got you on here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch gears and put the brown on it right quick. Let me put it down in here. And I'm going to leave the oven open while it's doing it. I'm not going to close it. I'm going to leave the oven open. That way I can see. Oh, wait a minute. Because it's not going to take long to do that. Now you had a good vacation. I've seen the pictures. It looks good. Hope everybody's having a good Friday afternoon. I am. I was up there watching that trial. I had to break myself away from that. Ooh. Ooh. It can only take with so much of that. 
and stuff. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Again, this was my first time doing that. Again, it's not my recipe. It's my Aunt Lada's recipe. She called me and told me about this. And I said, I can't wait to make it. And I hope you guys make it too. So if you make it, right? If you make it, post it on my page so I can see it, okay? Like, you can post any of your food on my page. I would love to see it and love to shout you guys out. I like that kind of stuff. Those that know me, they know I'll post you up quick. So, yeah. So, oh, man, you on here a thousand times. What's going on? It keeps saying, now watching one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got a, a, a glitch with your phone. You probably have to turn your phone off, turn it off, and turn it back on. Mm hmm. So I got it in the brawler so I can get a little brown. But I've been eating these. I forgot how good these were, y'all. I forgot how good they were. But this is what makes this dish. It's right here. Right? So watch the video if you didn't get to see it so you can see what I did. It's like ABC123. That's simple. Ain't nothing to it. There's nothing to it. But put some love in it when you do it, though. Put some love in it when you do it. So, and I always stress that. Put some love. So, here's my question to y'all. Have any of y'all called somebody that you haven't talked to in a while to say hi? Or tell somebody you love them or forgave somebody? Anybody doing any fun things like that lately? Hmm? Huh? How many of y'all have picked that phone up? And made amends with somebody. Hmm? Forgave yourself for some stuff, maybe. Huh? Caught somebody old, young. Right? Let them hear, uh, hear your voice. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Because we still in times. The numbers are rising again, by the way. We still in these times where everybody needs somebody. So... Don't get so wrapped up that you don't look out for people, especially the elder people. Don't get so wrapped up in what you're doing that you can't take time. And definitely don't get so wrapped up that you're going to say thank you. If you make roll call, don't ever get that tied up that you can't say thank you. And then, and then, how many of you guys can pray for people, even people you don't like? Right? How many? Try it. You might like it. You might feel good. You just might feel good. Huh? You just might feel good. So before I get off here, I want to invite you guys to come worship with us on Sundays. If you don't have a church family... You looking for a place to get some worship? We on Facebook Live every Sunday. And normally I share. I do a watch party. Good one. Memorial Baptist Church. We a church. Blessed to be a blessing. I tell you about us all the time, right? Yeah. Come join us. 10 o'clock Sunday school. 11 o'clock service. If you're in the area, if you get there in time, you can go in the sanctuary. Hopefully, you're vaccinated, though, you know. Still be careful. Still keep your masks on, you know. Don't take nothing for granted. The number's still rising. So, I just invited. Oh, yeah. And Wednesday, we have a Bible study that starts at 7. It's a Zoom. And I posted that on here, too. So, you're never without, Okay. You're never without Flo. Miss Flo, she posts a lot of stuff for her services and inspirational moments and stuff like that, too. So it's on here. If you want it, it's on here. You know, come get some of that. Hmm? Dare you. I dare you. Come get some and then let us know you got it, okay? So, again, I'll be telling you about my church family another time. The next live, I do all the time, Donna. Do I be bragging on my church? I do, don't I? <laughs> yeah, I love my church. But outside of that, guys, let me see. Hold up, let me see. Yeah, it's doing what it do. Yep. Keep an eye on on that. 
and the seasons were spot on, but you put whatever season you want. I did a mixture of stuff, but I always tell you guys, make sure you cook with some type of herb, okay? Because your herbs bring out your seasoning. It's not the opposite. It's not the opposite way. Try to cook with some of that too, even if you don't have it fresh. The ground is just as good, okay? But try to cook with some of that stuff too, and you'll see a difference. You'll see a difference in your in your uh, game, your cooking game too. Yep, you'll see a big difference. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if anybody else I want to shout out. I'm trying to think. I still got to show you guys that purse, that pocketbook when I go up. I keep saying when I go upstairs and I get in that television and all bets be off. I'm going to wait till this brown a little bit. Then I'm going to take it. I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to let you guys go. But listen, I, I thank you all that come on here to watch. And if you're sharing, I thank you for that. And if you're not sharing, I thank you for still being here. Okay? I can't make you do it. But if I'm, I'm trying to grow my channel and I need you guys. Okay? So when you share, it helps me out. And then other people get to see what you see. Huh? Other people get to learn stuff too. Like we, you never know who's watching. Maybe somebody that's just married, newly married, that don't know too much about the kitchen, how to, you know, prepare certain things. And that's what we're here for. We're here to show, to show you guys, you know. So when you share, somebody else gets to see what you see. And then if you want, you can post your meal on my page as well. Let me see what you're doing and I'll share that for you. Right? We network. It's called networking. So, y'all help me grow this channel, okay? I need you. I do need you. Can't do it without you. And it's appreciated more than you know. More than you know. And if you're in the Harrisburg area, you can slide on by. You mean I can't come in here, you know, because under the situation that we're going through. But you can show come and get you a plate of food. You can always come get you some food from here. Always. If I'm in the kitchen with Cindy, you are too. You just like in it with me, in it, but you are too. So you in the area, you hit me up, let me know something, and I'll be more than happy to share some of this with you. Let's see what's going on. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So put some color on it. Put some color on it. All right, let's see, guys. Comedy come, they laughing can help Milton Button. Josephine Hunter, hello. Comedy come, they laughing can help Milton Butler. Glad, glad. Hey, Josephine. Okay, let's see. Yep. Okay. So we put a little color on that bad boy. Hold up. There you go. Now I'm satisfied with that. See that? I'm satisfied now, y'all. There you have it. I'm very satisfied with that. Okay. So, guys, again... Wait a minute. Let me figure this out. Oh, there it is. Looks good, cuz. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you guys go now. I wanted to just share that with you. And um, I don't know. I, I, I was thinking about some, um, such a foodie, I swear. I was thinking about some liver and onions. Then I was thinking about a meatloaf. Then I forgot I had a... Um, Excuse me, a corned beef brisket, and I love a Reuben sandwich. I love a good sandwich. I was thinking about that, too. So we'll see what's to come. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Oh, sorry. I keep dropping it. Maybe this thing ain't as good as it needs to be. Hold up. Let me see. Sorry, guys. Told you I was clumsy. You already knew that. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what's to come, what's next on the menu. But... For that right there, that right there, I'm going to dig into that later. Later. I just had some fruit and stuff, so I'm not really hungry right now. I did a smoothie. I had a sandwich. 
I had some pretzels. I had a tangerine. I had some more pretzels. What else did I have? Some Twizzlers. Yeah. I'm just going to wait until it's time to eat dinner and stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, look. Thank you. Remember what I said? Pick, a, pick your phone up. Let somebody know you love them. If you need to make some amends, make some amends. Do it while a person's still alive. Right? Feel better about yourself. Do the next right thing. Right? All right. See you, cuz. And guys, please like and share. And I will see you later. Again, thanks for stopping by. And I hope you keep coming back. All right, bye.